Good evening. After a few days of spiking infection rates, we're getting some potentially encouraging numbers tonight on two fronts in Ontario's battle against the coronavirus. Health officials are confirming just 103 new cases today. That's 62 fewer than yesterday. The five-day rolling average now sits at 154. And here's the other big number from today, zero. For just the second time since late March, no new deaths are being reported. And I'm live in Brampton tonight. This school is where Premier Doug Ford held his daily update as part of his cross-provincial road tour through the summer. After a few days of increases, he was happy with the drop in the latest COVID numbers. I looked at the numbers this morning, 103. Man, I just can't wait to break that 100 barrier. All you have to do is turn on the news. You watch CNN, Fox, whoever you're watching, and see the disaster that's happening south of the border. The Premier also announced two new schools will be built in Brampton as part of a previously announced half a billion dollar investment in school infrastructure. And the Education Minister revealed he'll have more information next week on what the return to school could look like. And more money is coming. We're finalizing the health protocols, working very closely with the chief medical officer, some of the best pediatric uh, minds in the nation that are informing the plan we believe we'll be able to unveil it next week. Uh, that will include additional supports and resources. Now, a spokesperson later clarified and said next week's announcement will set province-wide standards for things like masking and busing, as well as new funding. The infrastructure announcement the government made here today, though, is being loudly criticized. ETFO, for example, the elementary teachers' union, says it does nothing to prepare schools for a safe return. And the Liberals say it's actually less than what they promised back in 2017.